Pablo Juan in Los Angeles, California. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better, look at Mo Better, and I show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss Transitions Extra Active Gray with the Blue Flash Mirror for your Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon in the 03 Polish Clear Color. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. Your Oakley hard shell case. The cleaning cloth which doubles as a carrying bag. Take everything out of that and of course you have the frame with some felt from the bag on there. Comes a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping and these are the carbon fiber temples. If it's possible to read the inside, this again is the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon in the 50 eye size and the 03 Polish Clear. Now it comes in one size, it comes in about four colors. No screws in this frame, it has a ball joint hinge. I had an orthopedic surgeon say that's exactly the same type of hinge they put in knee and hip replacements. Titanium, it'll never rust, tarnish, corrode. So let me begin. I'm going to take out the original demo lenses. This frame is so nice looking. I may have to get a pair myself. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. First, I want to program the shape in there. Two, six, three, four. Hit the start button. And the reason why I program all the, the shapes in there that years from now, should you ever need new lenses, I can send them right to your home. But a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Oakley frame that I sell and you'll get one free pair of clear single vision prescription or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance, you will get your out-of-network reimbursement, invest, reimbursement, reimbursement, your out-of-network reimbursement. Or if you have a health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for that. Now, I should start off by saying I am an authorized Oakley dealer. I just do not have all the frames on my website yet. So if there's a frame that you want, just email me at the contact me page of the website and I can make it happen for you. So I need to enter your pupillary distance, which is 62.5. So what I'm doing is I'm going to tap that's your pupillary distance. We need to bring it down to 31. Now we're going to raise the optical center up. Let's do 24 on a deeper frame. I like to go three above and we're going to cut it at 24 high. Now the PD is 62.5. I can't do 31 and a quarter, but I can do 31. And I'll show you what I'll do next. Let's see. Your right eye reads plus a quarter minus two and a quarter at 66. Let's put it on. Let's bring this down here. 66. Put the power drum on plus a quarter. Rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view. That looks like the center of the lens. Check your astigmatism correction, which is most of your prescription. So I just want to make sure everything is centered just perfectly. Okay, this one's a little trickier. Yeah, we're there. We're using the top of the lens. Plus a quarter. Minus two is what I'm reading. Your astigmatism correction is minus two and a quarter. But that'll give me two down there. So I'm going to put three dots on your lenses. Label this one R for right. Do the same thing now for the left lens. Put the power drum or the axis wheel. That is 66. Yes, put the power wheel on 104. And... Put the power drum now on plus 75. Rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view first. There we go. Check your astigmatism correction. We're at plus 75. Minus 3 gives me 2 and a quarter. Okay, that's correct. There's no margin of error with your prescription. Not that I would with anyone else's, but it's just more critical. Everything be placed perfectly. So, put an L on here. I'm going to darken those. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. 
So this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them right here. The black side is the sticky side. Line this up on the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Throw that on the platform. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. On the back, that silver button is a magnet. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And the reason why I put those dots on the lens, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. So I'm going to get everything laid out now. Again, I've got the PD is 31. It should be 31 and a quarter. So the blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that in inset. So instead of putting it just inside that orange crosshair, I'm going to move it ever so slightly. I'm just going to wiggle it. There we go. Until it moves over this way just a hair. Make sure the lens is large enough and it is. Hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the right lens. Do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Same thing, 31. So I'm going to get everything lined up and then I'm going to move it over this way some. Eyeball it a quarter of a millimeter. I've been doing this enough to know exactly how to do it. Hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your surfboard, and you can cut your own lenses while you're surfing around Cali. And you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you. But the cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material. This wheel in the center that has that channel, that valley, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake up the computer. Job ID number 2634. 2634. These are polycarbonate lenses. Had they been plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm going to go ahead and press the magnet on there firmly, place that into the chuck. Or you, by now you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens will start off being traced by two white styluses, making sure that it is large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will doubt that you'll have any in this frame even with your higher than average astigmatism or as I like to call it crazy stigs <laughs> but, uh, but the light in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic high index plastic and trivex cut wet meaning that water sprays onto the lens for those materials while it is cutting now water will spray onto your lens but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form around the edge of the lenses but as i said your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 15 percent excuse me 40 percent 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they're virtually unbreakable these are high impact ballistics grade lens material the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones in their Oakleys to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It also has 100% UV protection, up to 400 nanometers. Zeiss offers more protection than any other lens company. As I was saying, it has 100% UV A and B protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Los Angeles. Now, if you notice your lens is flat, just like a nickel, it's now going to the bevel wheel. Now you have the Zeiss blue mirror on the front. You have the Zeiss DuraVision glare, anti-glare coating on the back surface and the extra active in the middle of the lens. The extra active also gives you 50 to 70% blue light protection that's emitted from today's electronic devices that you hear about. So now water has begun spraying on your lens. It tells me it's in the last 20 seconds. So you have the most complete protection. You have the mirror on the front. You have the extra active in the middle. You have the anti-glare on the back surface. Now the purpose of the mirror is not just to look cool, which it does. A mirrored lens will 
A normal sunglass lens is dark. It will absorb the sun rays. A mirrored lens reflects it back, making it even feel darker. Speaking of which, these are the frames that I have will be releasing soon enough. It is Christian eyewear. It's going to come with a silver or a gold each color. The three colors that I have, black, dogwood, and purple, majestic purple. You can get with a silver or a gold cross, and it will be matching on the temple. And you get these prescription or non-prescription, however you like. I'll be introducing more and more frames. Let me dry everything off. I realize that I'm a cover band. I'm putting lenses in other people's songs. And I realized I wanted to write my own songs. So that is coming. Hopefully I'll have a top 10 hit. So, let's see if it fits first time around. I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Push down at the nose. And it snaps right in. Let's do the same thing for the left. Flip it over to L. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Or today I'm calling it the Juan. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. Just like before, the two white styluses will trace the shape of the left lens this time. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left side. And then again, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Juan, look at that. Look at that. You got no edge thickness. If you wanted edge thickness, that costs more. <laughs> you didn't pay for edge thickness, so you ain't getting any. So, dry that all through that in there. Add to my sticker collection. We're going to come down here to my lensometer. Let's put another dot on there since it's already fading off. We're going to turn it back to 66. Put it in. Read the power. Where's your sticker thing? There it is. And of course, I'm getting plus a quarter, one tick mark away from zero in the black positive numbers. Now, your prescription, everything's in quarter increments in the optical world. They're called diopters, a quarter, 0.50, 0.75, one. So you need one step of magnification. Now you need nine additional steps of astigmatism correction. That's what most of your prescription is. Like I said, you have crazy stigs. Now uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine tune knob. You have plus a quarter this way, 90 degrees away. You have a steeper curve, minus two and a quarter. That's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. It is the fine tune knob. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that fine tune knob to about 66. So let's do that now. And we end up getting minus 2 in the reds. That's because if you had a quarter but you owed someone $2.25, you would be $2 in the red. 2 in the red. Now, your left eye, you actually need three steps. Three quarters of a doctor of far-sighted correction and three diopters of astigmatism correction at 104. Now the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon sells for $230. The Photofusion Extra Gray adds $129.99 and the Blue Flash Mirror is $69 for a total of $429.98 tax free. The reason why I point out tax free now is that a lot of people on the internet have to charge tax for internet sales. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device there is no tax on medical devices in North Carolina, so therefore I don't have to charge any tax. So I will always be tax free. The Now the nice thing about the mirror and the anti-glare, you squint more than average. The back of your eye, the retina, you have a pupil, the light comes through. If you can imagine a circle here, light comes through the pupil and scatters on your retina. It does not come on a point focus. You want it to come in on a straight line, but instead light comes in during the day and at night. Driving at night is no fun for you. The light comes in and then scatters all over. This focuses it exactly where it's supposed to be. That is my superpower. I bend a light. The light comes in towards you. If this were your pupil, that let's make this your pupil. Light comes in from every direction. And I focus it and keep it going straight back on a point focus on your retina, which is actually called the circle of least confusion. I like that term. All right, we're going to tuck it in at the outside corner, push down at the nose. It snaps right in. We're going to take the block off, pull the sticker away, dry that off, add to my sticker collection. Come down here, turn the fine tune knob to 104. 
we're going to read the first power of your lens, which is plus 75 going past a half going towards one. You have three doppers of astigmatism. So we end up at minus two and a quarter. Again, if you had 75 cents and owed someone three dollars, you would be two and a quarter in the red. That's where we are at. Now, drum roll please. PD of 65, optical center height of 24. I'm gonna turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on the right lens, and we hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 62.5. Man, the kit is good. All right, not to the bottom of the lens, but the middle of the plastic at the deepest point of the frame, 24 millimeters. This is known as final inspection, 24 millimeters. Man, by the way, have I mentioned that I am a licensed optician with over 21 years experience? I've cut personally, personally cut tens of thousands of pairs of glasses. So you are getting, during the middle of this coronavirus with so many places closed down, you are getting a licensed professional to cut every pair of glasses that gets shipped worldwide. Just like to point that out that all lenses are handcrafted here in the US. But as I clean your lenses, I also want to point out that all glasses are, sh are everything is shipped, has free shipping. And last time I heard, free shipping anywhere in the US and its territories for the military. But uh, Los Angeles is still in the U.S., so when you get these in the mail one, there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm no different. I can show you in just a moment. I'm part of that 80%. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The so three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, again, I've got the same frame, same color. Normally, I have a wobble in my glasses, but these are known as pilot temples. If you imagine a World War II fighter pilot with a hard helmet on to protect himself in the cockpit, these would slide on and off without having to take his helmet off. This is a spatula temple. You would have to take your helmet off to slide these on and off, but when I put my Ray-Bans on the counter, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. This is a discontinued color. It is brown and blue to go with the brown and the blues that I wear so much of. You know I got a rock. Gots to match. Now, I doubt Juan has this problem, but now this carbon fiber matches the wisdom highlights that I have growing above my temples. Speaking of wisdom highlights, I hear that in another week or two, 88% of the blondes in this country will vanish. <laughs> but don't worry, the hair salons are just about to reopen. And... First, there's no milk and eggs. Now there's going to be no blonde hair dye on the shelves. It'll all be gone. But I'm going to flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. And the nice thing about these, you can see they have this built-in wrap. They, the carbon fiber is so strong and yet so lightweight, you cannot adjust these up and down. But you can pop the lenses out, heat up the temple, and either bring it in to tighten it. You can heat this up, bring it out to loosen it. But it has built-in wrap, and it all, they almost just don't even slide at all, and they fit perfectly. But this is what they look like before they've been activated. I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. And as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for all photochromic transition lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now Juan and everyone else watching, this is important. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time photochromic transition lenses don't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, having said that, the extra active will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now, when you look out, you see the gray, but when people look at you, they're going to see that blue mirror. And that's the nice thing about Zeiss. There, I had a previous company that closed during the coronavirus and would take two weeks. Zeiss takes one week and the show must go on. They do everything in-house. There's only one Essilor lab in the country. They do things in. It's actually right around the corner from where you live, Juan, but they've been closed. So Zeiss keeps the show going, but it is the most complete mirror thing. The Essilor lens, you have to hold it at a certain angle to see the mirror. Zeiss is mirrored all over. It is nice. Now you can get the Zeiss lenses in silver, gold, green, or blue. 
and it comes on the Photofusion Extra Gray, which is the darkest of all the colors. And but uh, but that's that. Doesn't that look good? Now the other thing about uh, photochromic transition lenses is they are temperature sensitive, so they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Having said that, we all work much better when it cools off. So, And I think a lot of people are about to go back to work. Today is May 1st, so people are going to start to do that. Now, as I keep talking, these will get lighter and lighter. But uh, if you've liked this video, do just that. Give me the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, and click the bell icon so you can get notifications as each video comes out. You can, uh, of different lens and frame combinations. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. In fact, Juan, I send out a selfie request in every package. I would love to have two pictures. One with them clear inside, one with them showing the blue mirror outside. And uh, if you have any questions about what frames are available, just go to the Contact Me page of the website. And you can also leave a comment in the comment section below. I send out cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses, so they will last you for years, but on your Oakley cleaning cloth, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, and the premium microfiber cloth that I provide that has all the brands that I sell. And of course, Oakley's up in that top corner in red. But, and for your case, so it too will last you for years. But thanks for watching. Juan, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon, size 50, color 03, the polished clear with the Zeiss Photo Fusion Extra Gray Lens and the blue flash mirror. And now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.